فيك خلقك الحمد لله ما حد بياخذ منك رزقك هدي وارتاح تابر وارمح من حقك بس بلاش العين لا 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 ما تسوى الدنيا مضيق خلقك الحمد لله ما حد بياخذ منك رزقك هدي وارتاح تابر وارمح من حقك بس بلاش Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to all the listeners of ITV and the Anwar Express. In studio today, we have a very special uh, person in our community. Um, he's a guest to the program, and at the same time, he was newly appointed as the CEO of Al Anwar Express. Please welcome Maulana Muhammad Yusuf Abdul Rahman Pandi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, it's very nice to speak to Sheikh and to have Sheikh here today. Sheikh, um, as, as a young girl, I know that Sheikh has been very um, prominent uh, 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 spiritual leader in the Muslim community and especially in this industry. Can Sheikh talk to us a little bit about where Sheikh come from in this industry, especially Hajj, and, and where Sheikh will be leading uh, this industry within Al Hajj uh, for uh, Al Anwar Express? Amen, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam, wa ala ashraf al Mursaleen, Sayyidina wa Nabiyyana wa Habibina Muhammadin, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd. To tell about my history, when I started in 1965, sure. and I made my niyyah to go and perform Hajj. Mm. I performed Hajj with a group, and that was in December, around about the 13th, traveling in the, to the Middle East, mm -hmm. on the East Coast, right up to Cairo, from Cairo, Mashallah. into Jeddah, and from Jeddah, I came to Mecca and Medina. So that is the time I mean I started, and every time I come for Hajj, with groups and Umrah, Mashallah. and I were with a lot of different agents, Hajj agents, until I came to Al Anwar, Hajj and Umrah mm -hmm. for 15 years and after that I decided this year inshallah I'm to start with a new company Al Anwa Express Masha and that's why I'm now the owner of Al Anwa Express and I also say that I brought in my grandson Yusuf mm -hmm. Bandi the son of Hassan Masha as my partner and from there, inshallah, I'm to carry on. Of course, at my age of 76 years old now, I still want to continue. I cannot miss this opportunity every time to go and see the Baytullah, alhamdulillah. And I'm looking forward with the Umrah, Al Jazeera, you know, we have, and then we are under the umbrella of Al Jim. Yes. And this is, we try to bring in the tourists, right, from Saudi Arabia and other Arab countries, inshallah, mm -hmm. inshallah. and we want to send. Also, right, our uh, guides to take them around in South Africa, wherever they want, and inshallah. And for my 40 years now, at the moment, I performed Hajj for 40 years. Mashallah. And, you know, and every year it's a different experience meeting up with people. No, and Alhamdulillah, taking it from that note, knowing that for 40 years uh, Imam has been performing uh, Hajj, what a leading example for uh, Imam's grandson Muhammad Yusuf. Shukran for coming and, and, and sharing that experience with us. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. After having the privilege to talk to the Imam of Al Jim team, Imam Yusuf Pandi, we have his grandson. Muhammad Yusuf Pandi in studio. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Muhammad Yusuf is the third generation of uh, the Pandi family and he's also a partner in the company. 
Um, so, Mohammed Yusuf, you know, your, your grandfather said that he has um, run this business for 40 years. Uh, mashallah, he is uh, 76 years old. Um, as partner in the company, how do you see yourself uh, pushing the business forward? Alhamdulillah, it's a great honor that my um, grandfather brought me on board at this moment of time in this generation. Mm -hmm. Things are much different now mm -hmm. being to that time, those yeah. years. Yeah. Those years, him himself had yeah. to take himself over to Saudi Arabia and physically sign contracts, yeah. fill in papers, yeah. stay, stay there for two, three weeks. Now it's just by a click of a button. SubhanAllah. All we do is go online, mm -hmm. put in the information, insert it, even with Hajj ministry. It's mm -hmm. not of going over there. Mm -hmm. It's doing everything right here in your seat in your office done it's no more of going over that side signing contracts waiting for this one waiting for that one they give you information online you put in your information no hustle that's basically how it is this year and our way forward inshallah is to go the online way mm -hmm. go with the technology go with the new life mm -hmm. we can't go backwards we must move forward yeah. so everything is going to have to going to have to be online inshallah shukran for your time and mm -hmm. uh, um, we 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 sure that you are a, a good success for the LG team going forward. Inshallah. Okay. Shukran. Assalamu alaikum. The beginning of the show, we had uh, got the opportunity to meet the CEO and the partner of the Arab Express. However, today we have in studio we have uh, Sheikh Mohammed Zain uh, Akhadin. Yeah. Um, so, so I do believe that you can give us a a, a more. Um, a brief introduction about the team for LG because we've been saying that you know uh, Al Anur Express um, are operating under the umbrella of the LG team. So Alhamdulillah it is a privilege for me to be part of this team of very diverse people mm. yet very well-rounded people and people from such diversity being able to gel well into one scenario Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, the gym team is made up of several of the ulama, imam, uh, Mashaikh, uh, Maulanas, Hufaz, uh from not only South Africa but uh, people that studied other places also and mm -hmm. come from other places in the world uh, like Afghanistan and people mm -hmm. from Mecca and Medina Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So this gym team is not a team that is defined to a specific region in uh, maybe Cape Town or Johannesburg or Durban in South Africa mm -hmm. but it is a very like I mentioned diverse team which consists of uh, so many of these brothers and sisters that are all, alhamdulillah, driven by a similar goal and they have similar passions that drive them to be, do to be doing this, inshallah. So, uh, alhamdulillah, like I've mentioned, this team is uh, made up of these people who have this passion to serve the hujjaj of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm. And like we all know, uh, we, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions to us that the hujjaj and the umar, waftullah, they are the divine uh, entourage of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So even us being in the service of the hujjaj is not so much a work as it is us taking into mind that we are the servants of the people who are in the service of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al Alhamdulillah, yeah. ni'mal khidmah. So, if we have behind us that the work that we are doing is not a work that we're just doing because we're doing it as a job. Mm -hmm. It is a work that we are getting, you know, one of the mashaykh told me it is ujra and ajr. It is, you know, it is the work that you're doing mm -hmm. and it is reward from Allah mm -hmm. subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is because this team has a similar drive behind them, having the passion to serve the case of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, having this longing themselves to be in the haramayn al-sharifayn and mashir al-aqsa al-mubarak. Mm -hmm. And obviously we have this drive behind it, which is uh, doing things the Arabic way. Mm -hmm. And many of our team members have either studied in Arab countries, mm -hmm. have Arabic backgrounds, born in Arab countries. And some of them today, some of them are actually Arab and they're living in Makkah and they're living in Medina, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. Shukran for alhamdulillah. showing uh, us, uh, you know, to get to know about the team. And I'm, I'm sure now that the people know, it really mm -hmm. will boost the intention going on this journey, Amin alhamdulillah. Amin Shukran, uh, Shaykh Mohammed Zain, for your input. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, as we've heard from Sheikh Mohammed Zain about the team of Al Jim, now we have the honor to sit and talk to a female team member from Al Jim. Alhamdulillah. Uh, greetings to you, Sister Sadiqa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's nice to have finally sit with a, a female member of the uh, Al Jim team, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. 
So the Sadiqa, um, um, Sheikh, you know, he emphasized on the Al-Jim team and in how they gather the uh, Hujjaj to be spiritually united for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, my question to you is, and I'm sure the listeners would want to know the same, you know, is the Mu'alima uh, of the group or the spiritual guide, you know, you are the female representative for the spiritual guide for, for the Hujjaj, does the role uh, start from, from only when you're landing into the kingdom in the Holy Lands or does it start from, from uh, South Africa, from Cape Town? Alhamdulillah, sir. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, Sister Bashira, the question you just asked me now, yes, alhamdulillah, it starts from Cape Town. Me being a consultant as well for the al team, you sign up people, you get used to these people, mm -hmm. you mix with these people, you can see which people need your service from the moment mm -hmm. they leave the shores of Cape Town. Even if you get onto the airport, you get these people panicking, how they first time flyers maybe getting into yeah, a actually. aircraft or whatever. Mm -hmm. There's a spiritual side also coming in. Get onto the flight, tell them what to decide, to mm -hmm. calm them yeah. and everything. So yeah, our journey starts already from Cape Town. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Um, how and, and, and subhanAllah once you reach the kingdom, you know, how how profound is your position with gathering up the hujjaj spiritually into into to getting the, the things ready for the next day? Yeah. When we land in Medina, obviously, today, nowadays, um, Sister Bashira, you get more females coming in for hajj than mm. males. SubhanAllah. So they are really dependent on you, especially mm -hmm. the first timers. Mm -hmm. In a place called Medina, where my mission is mostly to, on the spiritual side, Medina is where husband and wife they split up because each one of them go into different sections of the Haram. Okay. That is where I gather all the ladies mm -hmm. and before taking them into for Ziara we will have like a normal gathering mm -hmm. where I will give them the whole brief or layout what to expect inside the Haram of Medina. Mm -hmm. Getting to the Haram of Medina, Alhamdulillah, Shukriya Allah, Allah grant me to serve them, to take them to the Rauda, mm -hmm. right? We, um, we will make everything possible for them to enter into the road to stand in front of the cover of Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alhamdulillah, how kind and how warm to know that uh, al Jim team, you know, they're making sure that they catering for all different um, calibers of the Hujjaj. Um, the males and the females and especially the elderly and I'm sure the females will go the extra mile to making sure that our elderly are comfortable on the uh, spiritual journey Al Hajj. May Allah accept and uh, shukran for you uh, Sister Sadiqa Afwan for uh, uh, sharing your experience with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Once again, we're back to continue our show with Al Anwar Express and the banner of the Al Jim team. We have in the studio with us uh, Mr. Muhammad Ashraf. Ahlan wa sahlan fiq. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah yisallamak. Marhaba bak. Thank you, Sister Bashira. Thank you. Uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, um, before we, uh, uh, you know, engage into this talk, I would like to let, let the listeners know that uh, Mr. Uh, Ashraf is our expert in the packages for Al Anwar Express. So please, uh, Mr. Al Anwar, um, Mr. Ashraf, we uh, I've noticed in in the package itself that uh, you you guys have gathered all the hujjaj in one particular hotel. Uh, you know, in, in, in Al Madina. What is the, 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 the idea of, about it? What makes that special for doing so? Alhamdulillah, it's a great uh, uh, opportunity mm -hmm. for, the, uh, for us and for Hujjaj mm -hmm. to be in Hujjaj is coming in different uh, uh, dates, for example, different weeks, so okay. as we say. And Alhamdulillah, all the Hujjaj will be hosted in the same hotel. Okay. Its name is Moven Peak and Warl Medina. And this hotel situated doorstep from Haram. Mashallah, Alhamdulillah, it's, this hotel is uh, one of the biggest hotel in Medina, Menawara. It's uh, almost, I think, is 1,350 rooms. Oh, Alhamdulillah, can cater Alhamdulillah. Uh, for the lot of hujaj. Uh, and our <coughs> office will be based in this hotel. Okay. And this hotel, uh, uh, 
uh, have uh, different floor and uh, restaurants, uh, shopping center mm -hmm. in the biggest shop in Saudi Arabia called uh, Bin Daoud. Okay, also okay. on the ground floor okay, based there. Okay. Alhamdulillah, uh, this hotel is is, uh, is a very good standard of five star. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, we worked out in Medina, this hotel in Mecca, various different hotel also, uh, very good uh, standard, and then the doorstep from Haram, uh, for example, uh, uh, Dar Tawheed, okay. Hilton Hotel, uh -huh. in uh, Moven Peak, Hajar, and Swiss Hotel, mm -hmm. and we have, uh, obviously, Ajiat Mecca. Okay. Alhamdulillah, our uh, package for Aqsa we have this year we pulled for seven weeks, okay. and it is uh, very affordable prices, you know, for the hujaj. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, for seven week inclusive of everything, mm -hmm. it's a uh, uh, per person starts from fifty thousand four hundred. Okay. And double room obviously will be a little bit more like fifty five thousand four hundred mm -hmm. mm -hmm. inclusive of everything. Mm -hmm. And we have Dar Tawheed package, Alhamdulillah, until 1st of Zul Hijjah, until 25th of Zul Hijjah, Zul Qada, uh, I apologize. And this hotel also is uh, situated on the Mataf doorstep of Haram. Uh, uh, viewers, they can uh, visit our uh, website, alanwarexpress.co.za, uh, they, they can see the prices and the hotels and they can google the hotels you know online they mm -hmm. can check you know the standard and the distance from haram alhamdulillah mm -hmm. even we have a jihad mecca package this is we offering in madina and mecca okay. we offering uh, we offering breakfast and dinner buffet for both hotels okay Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. The rest of the uh, hotels will be with breakfast, Makkah, Medina. Then Azizia, we are offering lunch and shuttle service, an optional couple rooms available. And we have, uh, even during uh, Mina, uh, during the Mashair, you know, uh, uh, the camps will be C, B, A, A plus. That, uh, the A will be optional, whoever wants. Alhamdulillah, we can provide to them. And our packages, uh, our phone number, <coughs> they must, you know, please, they must visit our website. Mm -hmm. They can, yeah. they can book online. They can contact us. You know, even our uh, Johannesburg office, Durban office. You know, they all, uh, uh, the phone number will be on our website. Okay. They can contact them. The consultant uh, will visit them, or they can visit our office in each. Uh, a city, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Now, as I can hear, Mr. Muhammad Ashraf, that the, the packages are very well, you know, revised and, and studied by the team. So um, I, I hope, inshallah, that the listeners, you know, uh, move their fingers onto the website and, and get in contact with you guys uh, in, immediately, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. As a part of the Al Jim team, today we have with us uh, Sheikh Riyad Walsh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Akid lazim lisalim kaman bil Saudi kifak Sheikh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, barakallahu fikum. Allah yatikum al afiyah. Allah yafiyah. So, um, as your role in the Al Jim team, what do you see yourself, uh, what is your purpose for mm. the Al Jim team when it comes to their spirituality? Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala ama ba'd. Uh, Sister Bashira, the purpose of a spiritual guide is to try and get the hujaj to get maximum benefit from this and indeed the most greatest journey that they're ever going to embark on in their lives. A journey to Allah in this life in preparation for their journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hereafter. Mm -hmm. And so Many of the hujjaj, when they prepare themselves for hajj, they focus on the physical itinerary yeah. of uh, choosing the agent and then making the relevant bookings, buying the airplane tickets and the hotels. And, and when they get there, mashallah, they engage in the physical rituals. Mm -hmm. They go and make tawaf around the Kaaba. And they make uh, two rakats behind the maqam of Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam. They make the sa'i between Safa and Marwa. 
on the eighth day of Dhul Hijjah, that's of, of course for the Umrah, the eighth day of Dhul Hijjah, they go to Mina, from Mina to Arafah, from Arafah, from Muzdalifa, from Muzdalifa, back to Mina, back to Makkah. So they have a physical itinerary which they are very much aware of. Mm -hmm. And it's something that they can almost predict in terms of what is coming next. But there's an unseen spiritual itinerary, specially packaged, not by the agent, but by Absolutely. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for each and every single one of his guests. And that begins from when the hujjaj leave their homes, the journey to the airport, how long they have to wait in the queue, mm -hmm. how they're going to be feeling maybe a little bit nauseous or edgy on the flight, when they lose their luggage on Jeddah, when they have to wait maybe three or four hours for a bus. And at each and every single junction, Allah Taala is testing mm. their patience, their perseverance. And Allah Taala is developing their character. So what the spiritual guide, what his purpose is, is to basically prepare the hujjaj to look for the signs of the spiritual development and transformation that Allah Taala has prepared for them in this journey. To make them aware of the fact that all of our ibadat and especially Hajj is all about character building. I mean, look at the verse: "فَمَنْ فَرَضَ فِيهِنَّ الْحَجَّ فَلَا رَفَثَ وَلَا فُسُقُ وَلَا جِدَالَ فِي الْحَجِّ." So, if it takes on the obligation mm -hmm. of performing pilgrimage at that particular year, then let there be no obscenity, no vulgarity. Let there be no promiscuity, let there be no evil, corruption or transgression, argumentation or confrontation in that Hajj. And if you look at all of these prohibitions, they all have to do with character. So the spiritual guide needs to make the Hujjaj aware of these things, mm -hmm. needs to motivate them. And that's what we as uh, the Aljim team hope to do. Alhamdulillah, we have Sheikh Hassan Pandey, we have uh, Sheikh Zain Nakadin, we have um, Imam Pandey, Imam Yusuf Pandey, mashallah, Sheikh Hassan's father, who has been serving the Hujjaj for more than 30 years. Um, we also have Mullah Abdurrahman Layli. And uh, on the woman's side, mashallah, we have Sister Sadiqa, who also keeps the woman focused in terms of trying to derive maximum benefit at each junction on their journey, bi ta'ala. So, inshallah, the uh, Aljim team uh, hopes to provide that uh, spiritual guidance bi idni ta'ala by the grace and mercy and guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whereby the hujjaj indeed are not going to only go through the physical rituals and follow the physical itinerary mm -hmm. of this greatest journey of their lives but that they are going to be fully conscious and aware of the spiritual transformation uh, inshallah climaxing on the day of Wuquf, mm -hmm. on the plain of Arafah, mm -hmm. when Allah SWT is going to look down upon them and is going to brag to his angels and say, Ya malaikati unduru ila ibadi, O oh, my angels, look at my servants. I tell shu'atha ghubara, they have come to me dusty and disheveled. Ushidukum anni qad ghafartunahum, I take you as my witnesses that I have forgiven them all. And so we leave that plain of Arafah, Kayomi waladatna ummahatuna, like the day when our mothers gave birth to us, with a clean slate. And then again the spiritual guide comes. And he tries to help the Hujjaj focus on maintaining that spirituality that they have reached on the plain of Arafah, not just for the rest of their journey in the Mamlaka, but inshallah ta'ala to give them the tools, the spiritual tools, whereby they can maintain this Hajj for the rest of their lives until eventually they are returned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of Yom Qiyamah. Ameen ya Rabbul Alameen. Shukran for tuning in to ITV locally and internationally. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. لا 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 ما تسوى الدنيا تضيق خلقك الحمد لله ما حد بياخذ منك رزقك هدي وارتاح تابر واطمح من حقك بس بلاش العين لا 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 ما تسوى الدنيا تضيق خلقك الحمد لله ما حد بياخذ منك رزقك هدي وارتاح تابر واطمح من حقك بس بلاش